Hip thrusts. This exercise works your gluteals and hamstrings. It is known to be the best exercise to recruit your gluteus maximus muscle. On your back, rest your upper back onto a bench or something solid and stable. The bottom of your shoulder blade should be lined up with the edge of the bench. If you are very weak, then you can do this exercise without a weight at first, but as you advance, then you can use a barbell or weight or even exercise bands to perform the hip thrust. The bar weight or band should be positioned in the crease of the hip with the hands holding the bar or weight in position throughout the movement. You will need some padding under the bar weight or band, which can be a squat pad or cushioning of some sort. Keep the shoulders down and prevent shrugging when holding the bar. You can hold the bar with hands up or down positions, but don't let the bar slide forward or backward during the hip thrust. Obviously with the exercise band you need to anchor the band ideally to the floor underneath your hips. Your feet should be hip width apart and in the up position your shin should be vertical. Take a deep breath in, set your core and drive through your heels to push upwards. Your knees shouldn't cut in or out throughout. Focus on moving the weight with your glutes and not the lower back or hamstrings. Do not arch the lower back at the top, but squeeze your buttocks hard at the top. Now slowly lower the weight under control, keeping tension in your glutes. For strengthening, you should perform six to 10 reps to fatigue. You should perform three to five sets with three minutes rests. This session can be done two to three times per week. For endurance, you should perform 15 to 25 reps to fatigue. You should perform three to five sets with no more than 30 seconds rest. This session can be done two to three times per week.